to an episode. Hi everyone, welcome to an episode of Brit Space. I need, I need a new intro. I feel like that's lame. I say that on every Brit Space video, and I'm like, that's so lame. I need something new. Comment below what my new intro should be. Elections will be forgiven. Only first met. I'm talking about singleness. Okay, can we just be real? Let's just talk about it, okay? You can sit down, get you a glass of rosé, and let's just talk about being single. Okay, so I recently happened to upon the Instagram of this guy named Derek. Derek? What's his name? Derek? Derek Jackson. Okay, I'll link him below. Um, and I know that there's mixed feelings about this dude because some people love him and some people think he's like, whatever. Um, but... I do not endorse everything that he posts, but I did happen upon his, his Instagram and there are a lot of posts that he puts up that I definitely resonate with. I was like, okay, homeboy. Anyway, I was scrolling through his Instagram and looking at his different topics that he touched on. And one of the topics he talked about um, was a post that Carrie Hilson posted about the fact that she is single by choice. Um, so Carrie Hilson has announced that she's single by choice. This might be old news. I think this is like months ago um, But she got a lot of hate for the fact that she came out to say I am single by choice. So Derek Kind of did a, a video about not kind of Derek did a video about it on his Instagram and was kind of talking about the fact of Why is it good to be single by choice? Like why is that a bad thing? Um, and like why did she get hate? Um, so all that to say this just prompted my Brit chat today because I was like, okay, I there's so much that resonates with me. I feel like I need to talk about this issue. Um, shout out to Carrie Hilson. Uh, I don't know you as a person, but girl, get it, okay? I see where you're coming from. So I started to listen and unpack a little bit of what Derek was saying and kind of uh, read about what Carrie Hilson was saying about the fact that she's single by choice, and I was like, this sounds like me. I, I feel like I'm single by choice, okay? Technically speaking, I wasn't originally single by choice. Um, what had happened was, all that to say, I am now single by choice. Um, it's been a year since my marriage ended. And um, this is something that I realized really early on when um, friends, family, acquaintances knew that my marriage was over. The first question I got asked uh, multiple times was, are you dating? Are you dating now? Are you going to date? Are you, are you planning a date? Are you dating anybody? Are you planning to get remarried? Are you gonna be with a man? Okay, girl, when, when are you gonna get a man? And this is not to hate on anyone that has asked that because I get that that's a normal question to ask and like, I'm still young, I'm not like an old lady, I could still date people, I could still remarry. So I get that that's a normal question to ask, but for me, it was like, kinda like overwhelming because I was like, okay, I just ended an eight year marriage, um, I'm not really trying to date nobody and then, I started having these like feelings of like, maybe maybe I should, maybe I should date people. Everybody's asking me, am I dating anyone? Everyone's like, should you date someone? You should date someone, you should have a man by now, girl. And I was just, I felt like this intense pressure. So when I happened upon Derek's uh, Instagram page, I was just kind of like, okay, let me take a step back. And then I realized, I don't wanna date nobody. <laughs> I'm actually fine by myself. Um, but then I felt, bad because I was like well I'm supposed to be with someone right because apparently once you're a certain age you're supposed to be married or dating or something so I'm making this video for all of you ladies and all of you gentlemen who are not dating to say it's okay to be single and here's why first of all dating when you're still broken is not a good idea um, if you haven't completely healed from a past relationship, it is really not a good idea to jump into the next relationship. Um, and despite the fact that I feel like society pressures us to feel less than, um, unless we're with someone else, uh, I personally feel like it's best to work through your own issues and work through what is happening in your life than to rush the process of finding a significant other just to fit into society. Um, so number one, I just wanna say if you are single, um, don't feel less than it's fine. It's not a, it's not a bad thing to not be attached to someone second of all Dating while broken is not a good idea. Um, and this is something that <laughs> Derek Instagram Derek is what I'm gonna call him Derek Jackson He pointed out on another post and the idea of being like broken sounds so lame, but like even 
dating when you're still trying to figure out who you are or maybe you ended a relationship and you're still trying to find yourself it's not a good look it's not a good idea because sometimes it can leave you open and vulnerable to um, accept someone that you wouldn't normally accept if you were in a more healthy state and I definitely see that there's definitely been times where I've been tempted to like run towards a relationship or look for something because I'm lonely um, but I don't feel like I'm completely healed yet and it could it can kind of skew your view of that person because you're just kind of in a desperate state so that's another reason why you don't want to run into a relationship when you haven't completely healed it cause you to ignore warning signs that normally you would in a healthy state um, it can cause you to allow people in your life that aren't healthy because you feel this pressure to date um, so yeah I don't know if this is an advice video or <laughs> if this is just me uh, sharing my experience we'll see what it is in the end but I will say that is probably one of the main reasons why I'm choosing to be single because I don't feel like I've completely gone through the healing process from my past relationship and I'll be 100% honest and say that I'm still finding myself I'm still learning who this new person is and this new um, life of singleness um, you know I was married for eight years I was in a relationship for 10 I mean that like all of my Basically all of my 20s I was in a relationship. So I'm navigating a new area and I really, I realized the other day I'm like, I'm actually not really mad about it. You know, there were times where I would text friends or text family and be like, oh, I'm single and like, should I be looking for someone? And then I realized I'm actually cool. <laughs> like I'm not mad about it, but, but the only thing that's pressured me to feel like I need to date someone has been like society and the fact that being single seems to be like a scarlet letter. And I'm here to tell you it's not. Being single is not a scarlet letter. Do not feel pressure to be in a relationship. Do not feel less than because you're not attached to someone. And I mean this in society. I mean this from the church point of view. Um, I think that we put too much on relationships. I'm just gonna be honest to say that. And this is not coming from like a bitter point of view. This is not coming from like, oh i got burned so nobody should be dating nobody should get married like i truly believe that there are beautiful marriages there's beautiful relationships it's a beautiful thing i'm all for it but if you're not in that space it's okay it's okay to not be in that space so i just want to encourage you guys to say i'm there with you i think that it's okay to not be attached to someone and you can still be a person um a person should not define you um, a relationship should not define you and that's something that I have come to realize after my marriage ended um, that I allowed a lot of my marriage and my relationship to define who I was as a person um, do I regret that no because I think it's a learning experience but now that I'm in a different space I feel very free I feel very free and confident in the fact that I am choosing to be single right now um, and I'm down with it and that's not that's not just me like saying that I really am sometimes we sit here and we pray for things that we're not even ready for you know and and God he protects us from that <laughs> there's times when we sit here and we're like God give me a man and like give me this relationship and he's like you're not ready you're not ready do you you're not ready for that yet do you first and then and then this will happen or maybe it won't, but do you and be happy with it and you're okay. Um, so that's where I am right now. But I just wanted to come and unpack this with you guys and just say, number one, being single is not a curse. It's not, it's not the end of the world. And whether you're single by choice or maybe you've been single a long time and you're just kind of like, okay, I'm ready to date someone. You know, I'm ready for this, this next step in my life. I've been single. I've done the thing. I found myself. I've traveled. I've done all the things. I'm ready to find someone don't lose heart and don't feel like you're less than because you're not with someone um this goes for men and women you are not less than because you are not attached to someone else you are perfect and whole complete the way you are and that person is out there i know it sounds so cliche to say but that person is out there um can i also just say like get off your phone for a minute you know um this is another thing i've realized about singleness i went <laughs> When you go out to eat, you know, it's very apparent that you're like on your own. And sometimes that can make you feel kind of alone. So you want to like grab your phone, feel like you're with, you know, you're not a loser, you're with somebody.